guys. Alec Pierce, Scuba Tuck Tips here at Scuba 2000 Game in Toronto. Beautiful dive store. Um, you know, th th this uh, tech tip is from comments. Some people have asked me, you know, which works well, flex hose or swivels and so on. Well, let me tell you my opinion. And once again, let me reiterate all you guys out there that I'm not telling you what to do. I don't really care what you do. If it's working, I've said this many times, if it works for you and you're happy, why would you change? You know, however, in some of these tips, I maybe give you ideas and tips on things that, gosh, I didn't know that. You might want to change. So think about it. Anyway, the comment was this, which is better, flex hose or a swivel? Which will stop the pulling and the pushing of the regulator? Now, you know what I'm talking about or what this guy was talking about. If you have the reg in your mouth, I think this is new, Kevin. Reg in your mouth. Uh, 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 if you turn your head towards the hose, it tends to push the regulator out. If you pull, it tends to pull the regulator out, push and pull. So now you know what I mean by push and pull. This is a fairly hard, fairly stiff rubber hose. This is what most regulators come with. So the first stage is back there. This comes around your head. It, it, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't always work really well. So what have they done to help overcome that little issue? Well, for many, many years, there wasn't much you could do about it. You lived with it. You were just careful. When I started diving, they used to have a neck strap. All second stages came with a little neck strap that went around your neck. So if it got yanked out or pushed out, it fell in front of you, you put it back in. No big deal. Well, we don't use neck straps anymore for a variety of reasons. We can talk about that. So one thing they have come up with is a swivel. So this joint here, all, all regulars have a swivel. So that the hose spins like this. You see what I mean, Kev? Spins like this. But some regulators now come with a 360 swivel. You see that? So the rig spins around, but it also goes up and down and all back and forth all over the place. And the idea behind that swivel was very simple, that it would alleviate some of the pushing and pulling of the regulator while it's in your mouth. A neat idea, and I think probably it helps a little bit. But it doesn't help much, because you see, the problem is this stiff hose. This stiff hose still comes around your right side, like so. And even with the swivel, if you turn your head, a hose has to go. If you pull your head, the hose has to pull. So the swivel does several things, but it doesn't really allevi alleviate completely anyway, if at all, that that uh, pushing and pulling. And some people love the swivel. If you have a swivel on your hose, you love it. But I've tried them several times, and I'm not a big fan of them. I'll tell you why. If the rake comes out of your mouth, look what happens. It flops down. Or even worse, it flops around. Now you got to find, oh, okay, and get it back in. I just don't like it. If you don't have the swivel, you hit the rake out, the rake stays there. Saves it right there in front of you, without back in your mouth. But with that swivel, you never know where it's going to end up. It could be anywhere, you see. So I'm not a big fan of them. If you like it, stick with it. So that particular solution may or may not work. So the question from this, this diver was, if I have a flex hose, one of the new flex hoses, you can see this flex hose, uh, will that alle alleviate pushing and pulling? And my reply to him was, yeah. Yeah, it'll do a great job. These flex hoses are extremely flexible. You can actually tie this into a knot. Look, you can't do that with a rubber hose. They're very, very flexible, very, very light, first of all, so it lightens your load. And and now, if the if the first stage is behind your shoulder and the hose is coming around the right-hand side, as it would do, it's not a big deal because this hose is so flexible, it just pulls and pushes out of the way. Look at it. So it does allevi alleviate to a great deal that pushing and pulling of the regulator in your mouth. If you've been having a problem with that, if you find that right pulling or pushing, try a flex hose. They're great. And they also lighten load. Okay, So you can do that. Now, many brands today are coming with flex hoses installed. These are not new. They've been out for about oh, a dozen years. 10, 12, 15 years now. The very earliest flex hoses weren't perfect. They had a few issues with them, but they got that completely solved now. So if you've heard from your buddy that flex hoses aren't safe to use, tell your buddy to, to, uh, to catch up. So uh, it, 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 they're fantastic now. They're really easy. Now, if your regulator does not have flex hoses, you can buy the flex hoses. You can buy them in several colors. Pink is pretty popular. Kevin's hoses are all pink. No. To match your wetsuit. And you can buy pink, buy blue, any one. But you can buy the flex hose, you see. This is for an octopus, safe second. And it's beautifully flexible. Look, look at that. <laughs> look at that, Kevin. You see what happened? So they're extremely flexible, very, very light. Curls onto your right hand for your safe second. Sits there. Your diver pulls it, sticks it in his mouth. They're very, 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 very good. Many octopuses. 
come with the flex hose, even if your main primary regulator does not. You can buy the swivel too. You probably know that if, if you want to try a swivel. You can actually buy a swivel by itself. This is a second stage swivel. Hose comes into here and this goes on to your regulator second stage and it gives you that 360 swivel if you want that. Uh, but uh, before you do that, before because they're not inexpensive, they're about 60 bucks or, or more. Before you do that, check out flex hoses and see if that doesn't make a difference. Now, keep in mind one more thing. Some regulators, this first one I showed you as an example, this regulator, the hose and the swivel are a unit. This company wanted to have swivels on some of their regs, certainly they're better regulators, and they're more expensive regulators, and so it's a unit. <laughs> you cannot take this flex, this swivel off. So when you uh, need to replace anything, then you have to replace the whole thing. And that certainly is not inexpensive. Uh, these swivels as well, they do need to be serviced regularly. In fact, the manufacturer says this should be serviced every year. They actually supply a little service kit with the O-rings that fit into here because they're subject to corrosion, salt, and sand get in there and so on. But that's an, that's an opportunity. But the flex hoses, in my opinion, uh, just speaking to the fellow who put that question in comments a while ago, I think the flex hoses are fantastic. If you travel a great deal, they, uh, they make your system lighter and it certainly will solve that pushing and pulling in your mouthpiece. Consider it. Maybe you can get to your local dive store uh, to uh, give you some flex hoses to try on your regulator. I'm willing to bet that if you, I've said this before to divers, if you try a set of flex hoses on your regulator, and you can get them for everything, for the BC and for the SPG, high pressure as well. So the whole regulator is, is lightened by, by quite a bit. And you can coil the whole thing up into a little bundle and tuck it into your dive bag off you go on your trip. Anyway, see if your local dive store won't give you a couple of flex hoses to try. I think you'd be impressed with them. Okay, hopefully now, if, that, if that's a problem, if you find that reg isn't stable in your mouth, try the flex hose to see if that doesn't help. Okay, guys, there you go. Alec Pierce, Tech Tips from uh, Scuba 2000.